In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add groups in Gmail. This is a handy feature that allows you to organize your contacts into groups, making it easier to send emails to multiple people at once. Whether you're organizing a team project, planning an event, or just need a quick way to email your family and friends, setting up contact groups or labels, in Gmail can save you a lot of time. So let's walk through this step by step. First things first, you'll want to start by navigating to your Gmail inbox. Open your preferred web browser and head over to Gmail. Once your inbox is loaded, you'll notice a small grid icon located in the top right corner of your screen. This icon is your gateway to the various apps that Google offers. When you click this grid icon, a drop down of different Google applications will appear. Next, we're looking for the Contacts app. This is where we will be doing most of our setup for creating groups. Clicking on contacts will open a new tab where you can manage all of your existing contacts. If you have yet to explore this area, you might see a list of your frequently emailed contacts. Maybe you'll even notice a few that you'd rather forget. But for now, let's focus on setting up your groups. We're going to create a new label, which is essentially a group or a category in Gmail's contacts. On the left side of the screen, you will find the word labels. Right next to it, there's a small plus icon. This is what you'll need to click to start creating a new group. After you click the plus icon, a prompt will appear asking you to name your new label. Choose a descriptive name that resonates with the people you're planning to add to this group. It could be something standard like family, work friends, or maybe soccer team. Once you've typed in the name, click on the save button which secures your new label within your contacts. Now, it's time to add some actual contacts to your newly created label. Head back to your list of contacts. You can do this by remaining on the same page where you named your label. Scroll through your contacts or use the search bar if you're looking for someone specific. When you find a contact you want to add to your new group, click on their name to open their contact details. In the contact details screen, look for three vertical dots located at the top right area, often referred to as the More Options menu. Click these three dots and you'll see an option to Manage Labels. Select this option and you'll get a list of all available labels you've created. Now check the box next to the label you've recently created and this contact will now be part of that group. Feel free to repeat these steps to add more contacts to your group. To double check that everyone you've selected is safely nestled under your new group, go back to the main page of the contacts app. On the left side you should now see your created label listed. Clicking on it should display all the contacts you've added. This is a good way to confirm that your group is set up correctly and to make sure you haven't inadvertently added someone you didn't mean to. Checking in regularly will keep your contact list organized. Finally, let's see how you can use this new group in Gmail. Go back to your Gmail tab. To start composing an email to this group, click on the Compose button, which is typically highlighted in a bold color so you can't miss it. When the new message window pops up, type the name of the contact group directly into the To field. Gmail will begin to suggest matching contacts or groups based on what you type, so you should see your group's name appear as an option. Click to select it, and just like that, all the contacts under your label are added as recipients to your email. Now imagine the time one could save when sending out updates to a large group of people. It's efficient and gives you more time to focus on other pressing tasks. And that's how you create and manage groups in Gmail using the Contacts app. It's incredibly straightforward and yet so effective for managing communications with multiple people. I hope you found this step-by-step -step guide helpful and that you'll start using Gmail groups to simplify your emailing process. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.